Yes, the good girl is very frugal. She will not like spending your money. There you go. They will quite often refuse flat out. Yeah. So how, you're in a great relationship with a lady now. How, uh, Elvin, what, how do you know, how do you feel that she's really into you and, and that she sees a future with you? Because I find in Slava cultures very different signs than women from the West. Uh, one of the things that you'll learn is that the Slavic women, when they're out in public, they are ladies, okay? Don't expect too much. Holding hands, walking down the street's fine, but if you expect full-on passionate kisses in the middle of the main street of Kiev, down Krasatik Street, it's not going to happen. But when you are alone together, she will not be afraid to move. It's quite often that they will initiate the first kiss. They don't mind being intimate when they're alone mm -hmm. and they're, yeah. they're quite comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. So signs, signs that she's into you, she's willing to be intimate with yeah, you. I'm very, yeah. And how long does it take her to be willing to be intimate with you privately? You know, the average Ukraine lady. That's got a little bit to do with how prepared you are to be totally honest and open with her. Mm -hmm. um, sure it does. If you go with that right attitude, it does not take long at all. Okay. Yeah. So if you're in a, a relationship and you've been dating for some time, been many, many dates, and there's no signs of uh, affection privately, uh, it's not a good sign, right? No. Mm -hmm. It's, yeah. Next. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so signs that she's into you, which is hard for uh, our clients and all men coming here, hard, harder to discern. Physical affection, privately. What else? What other signs that they, she's into you? How does she treat you? They will make excuses to be with you, mm -hmm. not to be away from you. Uh -huh. Good one. Yeah. Second point, okay, that she's into you. Um, Great point. They will initiate conversation. Mm -hmm. Either on Viber, chat, or calling you. Want to invest her time speaking, communicating with you. Even face-to-face. -face. Mm -hmm. yeah. If she begins the conversation and you're looking at her, Great. Mm -hmm. Great third tip. I agree. All yeah. signs that she's really into you. Yeah. yeah. And the other one is if she's prepared to go a little bit out of her way to spend time with you, mm -hmm. um, sorry, honey, I live on the other side of Kiev. Can we meet at this place? And she says yes. Mm -hmm. Great. She'll inconvenience herself a little bit to come and meet you. Yes. Not always come and meet me. Yeah. Right around the corner from where I work. Yes. No inconvenience to her, and you'll buy lunch. Mm. Right, right. Yeah. If good she, good if fourth she, point. If she's walking past the restaurant, no. Mm -hmm. But if she's got to walk to the restaurant, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great, uh, great tip. And um, what about how she is with the whole money scene? So how does she perceive and how should she behave about you spending money on her or you spending money out and about? Uh, Talk about that, the good girl. The good girl. And we haven't talked about this. We haven't, we haven't rehearsed this interview. And I already know what you're going to say because I know how the good girl Ukrainian is in this regard. And this is a big fifth tip. Yes, the good girl is very frugal. She will not like spending your money. There you go. They will quite often refuse flat out. Yeah, it's too much. It's too expensive. Let's go somewhere a little bit um, the first date more I had, economical. The first mm -hmm. date I had with my current girlfriend, mm -hmm. she refused to let me pay for coffee. Coffee even? Yes. Wow. That's, that's exceptional, I might say. Uh, that's why we <laughs> went back for a second and a third and a fourth. Uh -huh. and, yeah. and, and it's so true. The good Ukrainian girl, she doesn't want to spend your money and take you shopping for expensive clothes and designer this and that and the other thing. It's quite the opposite. She perceives your money as our money or, yes. you know, and she tries to save you. She goes to the extra step to help you save, not spend, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And that's a big one, guys. So when these girls are taking you to the spa on the second date, uh, shopping, expensive restaurants, all these are not good signs, right? Stay away from the spa, stay away from the shopping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because then you don't really know why she's spending time with you, right? You don't know what her motivation is. You can really 
Uh, see her motivation. If you date, just take her for a cappuccino walk in the park. Something, if you're here in the winter, ice skating in the public ice skating arena that costs very, very little. Things that don't cost a lot. That will be one way that you can see what her true motivation mm -hmm. is, right? Little tip. During the summer in Kiev, you can spend the whole day for about four local grivna, which is one way on the, tr on the metro, and you can have a wow of a time. Where? In the park or what? Everywhere. Ah, okay. Yeah, there's yeah. all kinds of free things you can do yeah. in Kiev. In the so if she wants to go and spend money down at the local Gucci store. Yeah. 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 You can go ice skating for very little in yes. the public ice skating arena in, in, in winter in Kiev. Um, all kinds of things you can do uh, public. They have in July and August public ballroom dancing. Yes. Right? You can go there. It's free. I understand. Yeah. I haven't done it myself. But that's a great test to see what she's made of, what her true intentions are with you. Yeah, definitely. It's a big one. Yeah. So. It's one of, one of the ones that actually convinced me that my current girlfriend's worth spending a little bit of extra time with. And too, too bad they didn't know, hey, that if they really knew what a man is like, the core of a good man, wants to spoil his princess, mm. right? But they want, we want them to love us, right? Or be interested in us, maybe not love, but at least be interested in us seriously. And then we will go to the ends of the earth to lavish her, to make her happy, right? Mm -hmm. And if they only knew that, that, if, if, right? If they only knew that, they wouldn't be asking for the expensive stuff up front. They would do it the other way. Well, that's one of the other points that um, I've noticed with the Slavic women here. If you've got a job and you need to go to work, they are quite happy to sit, wait. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. if she's... Invest their time. If she's happy to sit and wait for you to finish the job that you've got to do so you can go and do something together, trust me, she's worth keeping. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. The others will go and do something by themselves. Alvin, uh, one confusing part guys get tripped up with is, you know, whether she's into you or not. And what are some signs that she's not into you? How do Ukrainian ladies behave that are big telltale signs that she's not really into you. She's just stringing you along, playing games or, or whatever the case might be. What do you think? Well, one of the big ones that I see is that they, they use um, 